Hello and welcome to this morning prayer for Thursday, January 5th, 2023. Uh, my name is Trish Tedro. I'm the pastor at Community Presbyterian Church in Payson, Arizona. And I'm glad to invite you to join us this morning uh, for this time of, of prayer or whatever time of day it is that you may be uh, joining us. We're glad to have you here. I invite you to take a moment to kind of settle yourself. Um, maybe find a place where uh, you can be comfortable, where it's quiet, peaceful, where you aren't distracted by other things, where you can center yourself and join in this time of prayer. I invite you to join me now in our opening prayer. Wise God, you are older than the ages. You dance in starlight and you love us. Wise God, you share your bread with strangers, and you welcome little children, and you understand us. Wise God, you wrestle with the powerful, and you comfort all who need you, and you disturb us. Wise God, shining in darkness, seen by those who love you, found by those who seek you, we are here to learn from you. Amen. As I begin this morning, we are still in Christmas time. Uh, for those who don't know this, Christmas season of Christmas actually begins with Christmas Day itself, and then it goes 12 days. That's why we have that song, the 12 days of Christmas. And it ends with Epiphany, which is January 6th. So that's tomorrow. So we're still in this time. Epiphany, which is the end of this season for us and the beginning of, of the next season in the church life, uh, is a time where we focus on the story of the Magi or the kings. Uh, this is a story, of course, that has captured the imagination for years and years. There's so much artwork that has been done to depict these wise men, these magi who came to find the Christ child. There's been poems and songs and operas and, and just probably every artistic medium possible has been used in some way to depict it. There's something about the story itself that just truly captivates us. And so I invite you to listen to it. It's from Matthew's Gospel, the second chapter, verses 1 through 12. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And tallying together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out. And there ahead of them went the star that they had seen in its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. And opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned, in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The 
This morning, I'm going to invite you to join in a time of meditation, which will be my sharing a couple of sentences and then questions for you to think on. And so I do invite you if you if you need to, if you want to grab something that you can write with, you may want to jot some things down during this time. During this time of doing this, I'm also actually going to uh, switch views, if you will. And uh, so that what you will be seeing are, are three of the figures from one of my nativity sets, uh, the, three, the, three, the three magi, the three wise men. And uh, this set is from Mexico. Um, and I just invite you to, to just look at them, gaze on them as you meditate on this. Uh, and so, like I said, if you want to grab something to write with at this point, please do so. They set out to follow a star. God is found in the moments of wonder that make us stop and ponder the mystery. What have been your own awakening moments of wonder that have led you deeper into the mystery? The star's light was seen in the darkness. In their darker moments, they trusted that the light was still to be found. How have you experienced the absence of light? Where, how did you recognize the light? They asked questions when they were lost, continuing to try to make sense of where they were and where they were being led, they looked for help. What are the questions you live with? Who are wisdom figures for you? Who has helped you with your questions? They travel together. We don't know how many of them, but we can imagine the little community that they became as they travel together, sharing their experience. Where do you experience community? What does this add to your journey? They met King Herod on the way. For his own reasons of power and control, he tried to deceive them. We need to recognize the twisted value systems of our world and not get caught up in them or be misled by them. Where do you experience this? In what ways are you most often pulled off course?
They bowed down in adoration. Falling on their knees, they worshiped the king. A moment beyond intellectual understanding and of recognition. We can imagine the moment of knowing in the deep silence. Do you cultivate silence in your life so there can be moments of knowing and of recognition? They offered their gifts. To be in the presence demanded a response, an offering of themselves and of their gifts. Identify your own gifts. What are offerings of yourself, your time, and your material possessions? In a dream, they were shown the truth. Because of the danger, they were warned to return by a different way. Revelation can come to us through our dreams. Have you ever experienced this? How else do you experience God's revealing of the way to you? Name and give thanks for a moment of wonder. Resolve to offer your gift this year in a particular way. Name some aspect of darkness and pray for light. Name a companion on the journey and give thanks for their support. I invite you now to join me in a time of prayer. The Magi came from the East to worship your Son. Grant to us everywhere the spirit of adoration. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The infant Christ received gifts of gold, incense, and myrrh. Accept the offering of our hearts and minds at the beginning of this new year. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. Grant an abundance of peace to your world. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The Holy Family lived in exile and in the shadow of death. Look in mercy on all who are poor and powerless and all who suffer. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Your son shared his life, shared the life of his home and family at Nazareth. Protect in your love, our neighbors, our families, and the communities of which we are a part. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. All loving God, we rejoice in our fellowship with the shepherds 
the angels, the magi, Mary, Joseph, and all the faithful departed. In your unfailing love for us and for all people, hear and answer our prayers through your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I invite you now to join me in praying the Lord's Prayer, and I invite you to use whichever version of that prayer is the one you are most familiar with, the one that you are most comfortable with. So please join me as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Starshine, moonshine, sunshine, we will walk with God. Mountains, main roads, side tracks, we will walk with God. Questions, answers, mysteries, we will walk with God. Backwards, onwards, homewards, we will walk with God. And as you go about your day today, know that we all go walking with God. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen.